Hi everyone. In this video, let us discuss how bile acid supplements work in IBS. Bile acid supplements play complex role in the treatment of irritable bowel syndrome associated with diarrhea. IBS may be associated with either diarrhea or constipation as its predominant symptoms. In a few people, we can find mixed symptoms. Bile acid supplements are useful in treating IBS diarrhea. These bile acid supplements can be classified into two types. Bile acids that act as bile acid analogs and the other one is bile acid sequestrants. They are also called as bile acid binders. Both of these bile acid supplements and sequestrants can be used in the treatment of irritable bowel syndrome. However, they can be used in different situations. In this video, let us discuss what bile acid supplements are, how they improve the symptoms of IBS diarrhea, what their side effects are and when they are used. First of all, let's see what is the role of bile acids in the digestion. Bile acids are produced by the liver and they help in the process of digestion. They are derived from the cholesterol in the liver. They are very important for digestion of the fat and its absorption. They also act as signaling molecules. The primary bile acids are cholic acid and quinodeoxycholic acid. These bile acids are conjugated with glycine or taurine to form their bile salts which are more water soluble. Bile acids are stored in gallbladder and they are secreted into the small intestine. Within the small intestine, these primary bile acids can be converted into secondary bile acids by the action of the bacteria. Deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acid are the two important secondary bile acids. These bile acids simply act as emulsifying agents. They produce the emulsification of fats that brings them into smaller droplets or micelles. These smaller micelles can be easily digested and absorbed by small intestine. Bile acids also play important role in controlling cholesterol levels as cholesterol is going to be utilized for their synthesis. They also act as signaling molecules controlling lipid and glucose metabolism. Even they can control inflammation in the body. Most of the bile acids are reabsorbed in the ileum, the last part of the colon. After the reabsorption, they are returned to the liver via enterohepatic circulation. In the liver, these bile acids are reused. In this way, bile acids play an important role in breaking down of dietary fats, which is responsible for absorption in the small intestine. They also stimulate the gut motility that helps in digestion. Bile acids maintain good intestinal health by regulating. The recycling of bile acids ensures the proper bile acid levels in the colon. Any disruption of the cycle may lead to excess bile acids leading to diarrhea. It may also lead to the deficiency causing fat malabsorption and steatoria. Now let us see how bile acid malabsorption is associated with the symptoms of IBS. In people with IBS diarrhea, excess bile acids reach the colon due to improper reabsorption of bile acids in the ileum. This results in the increased water secretion in the colon leading to watery diarrhea. It also irritates the colon leading to cramping and increased urgency. It also results in faster bowel movements. So in people with bile acid malabsorption, a severe watery diarrhea can be observed. What are the causes for bile acid malabsorption? One of the primary causes of bile acid malabsorption is the dysfunction of the liver. When the liver produces excess bile acids, they may reach into the colon leading to bile acid malabsorption. It may also be due to any damage to the ileum where the absorption of bile acids is non-functional. In people with Crohn's disease, inflammation in the colon can produce the damage and reduce the absorption of bile acids. Other conditions like ileal resection or removal of gallbladder can also increase the bile acid malabsorption. In a few people without any proper reason, again this malabsorption can be observed. Many of the studies suggest that around 25 to 50 percent of the people with IBS diarrhea are linked with bile acid malabsorption. Now let us see when these bile acid supplements are useful in managing IBS diarrhea. Among the bile acid supplements, bile acid binders are the main treatment for 
IBS diarrhea. They are also called as bile acid sequestrants. In people with bile acid mole absorption, these bile acid sequestrants can be given. They bind to the excess bile acid and prevent the symptoms of diarrhea in people with irritable bowel syndrome. Cholestyramine, cholestipol and cholecivilum are the three important bile acid sequestrants. They are preferred in people with IBS having frequent and watery diarrhea. They also act as an alternative for people who do not respond to lopramide treatment. Normally, 95% of the bile acids are reabsorbed in the ileum, the last part of the small intestine. They return to the liver. Only 5% of the bile acids are excreted in the stools. However, in people with bile acid malabsorption, they are not properly reabsorbed in the ileum, leading to a larger amount of bile acids when they are reached into the colon. This may irritate the colon and increase the secretion of fluids. This results in the development of diarrhea. In such people, bile acid sequestrants can be given which can bind to these excess bile acids. These bile acid binders have a positive charge. Therefore, they can bind to negatively charged bile acids in the intestine. This prevents their action on the colon and prevents irritating the colon. They also reduce the water secretion which thicken the stools. Even they can reduce the bowel movements that reduce stool urgency. However, bile acid binders can produce a reverse side effect. They can produce constipation as one of their important side effects. They can also produce bloating and gas formation. Heartburn and muscle pains can also be observed with bile acid binders. Another important limitation is the drug interactions. Bile acid sequestrants can interact with many of the other medications. They can reduce the absorption of thyroid hormones like levothyroxine. They can also reduce the absorption of antibiotics like tetracyclines and penicillins. These antibiotics are ionic in nature and they can form complexes with bile acid sequestrants. This can result in their reduced absorption. Another important drug interaction is with desoxin. These bile acid sequestrants can reduce the absorption of desoxin, which may increase the risk of heart failure. Similarly, the absorption of thyroid diuretics and warfarin can also be reduced. In order to avoid these drug interactions, other drugs should be taken one hour before or four to six hours after taking bile acid sequestrants. Bile acid binders should be started at a low dose and the dose is gradually adjusted for better tolerability and to avoid drug interactions and constipation. Now let us the use of bile acids in IBS diarrhea. Bile acids or bile acid supplements are particularly used in people with bile acid deficiency. However, bile acid deficiency is rarely observed in people with IBS diarrhea. The bile acid deficiency may lead to fat malabsorption. This condition is called steatoria. This may happen in people with liver disease that produces impaired bile acid production or in people with gallbladder removal. It may also due to other conditions like short bowel syndrome where the bile acid absorption sites are lost in the gut wall. In such people, bile acid deficiency can be observed that may be linked with IBS diarrhea. Bile acid supplements can help in such conditions. They make the fats absorb better and they also regulate gut motility. Kinodeoxycholic acid and ursodeoxycholic acid are the two bile acid supplements that can be given to such people. They may improve the digestion and reduce the liver toxicity. However, these bile acids may worsen diarrhea due to the increased levels of bile acids in the colon. They may also increase abdominal cramping. If they are misused, they can produce fat malabsorption. Therefore, bile acid supplement should be used only in people with bile acid deficiency. So that's all about the role of bile acid supplements in the management of IBS diarrhea. Bile acid malabsorption is highly linked with IBS diarrhea. In such people, bile acid sequestrants can be given to bind with excess bile acids in the colon. This prevents the irritation and watery diarrhea. However, bile acid binders can produce constipation as one of the important side effects and it can also increase the risk of gas formation and heartburn. 
They also show drug interactions with many other medications. Bile acid supplements are useful in people with IBS diarrhea who are having bile acid deficiency. Otherwise, they are not that much useful in the management of IBS diarrhea. So that's all about the role of bile acid supplements in the management of IBS diarrhea. I hope this video is useful to you. If you really like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.